Hi, I'm Grayson Steele, and today I'll be reviewing the new NECA Aliens figure, Bishop Queen Attack. For those of you who haven't seen the excellent James Cameron 1986 film Aliens, this is the sequence when Android Bishop gets literally torn in half by the Alien Queen. If you haven't seen the film, I suggest you put it on your list as it's one of the best science fiction films ever made. On opening the packaging, you get a face hugger, a face hugger's hatched egg, and the upper torso of Bishop. So let's start with the detail of the hatched egg. The first accessory within the uh, Bishop packaging is the egg, the hatched egg. And um, I have to say, the texture and the look of it is very convincing. It's got some really nice separation in colours with the greens and the browns. The actual top of the opening looks like a face hugger has just literally popped out and you can see it almost gives you the impression of slime around the top and inside. If you look, look inside there. Um, nice bit of stringy slime around the top. Um, yeah, overall a really, really nice looking um, accessory. The second accessory within the Bishop packaging is the face hugger. Now you can instantly see the amount of detail on the top there with all the striations within the tail and the body and even in the legs. It's really, really, I mean top notch, it's, it's really beautifully done. And if we turn it over, we can see the actual, um, where the tongue tube comes from, yes, the, you know, the thing that forces itself down the host's throat and how much detail has gone into that. And um, before anybody says or points it out in the comments, yes, it does look like a part of a woman's anatomy, but um, I think that joke's about 30 years old now. So, um, you know, moving on, the actual figure itself has only one sort of poseable item on it, and that's basically the tail and it will bend in the middle it's got some movement near the top but i think it's pretty much all you're going to get out of it but um even so you know it's it's a nice it's a nice thing to have considering the fact that it's a you know a, a, an accessory to the figure so um yeah nice nice detail nice figure Now let's talk about the bishop figure, or shall I say at least only half of him. Now, in some instances, people may be a little upset that they actually only get half of the figure. Now, in my opinion, the other accessories, the hatched egg and the face hugger, more than make up for this. So um, for me, it's not an issue. Uh, I, I really like what Necker have done with the packaging and it's more than suitable for the price tag. Now, if we start with the face sculpt, um, you can tell instantly that this is a great likeness to the actor Lance Henriksen who plays Bishop in the actual film and it's almost to the point where he's expressionless and I think that's a good point where in the film if you watch it you can see when he's torn in half the look is the look that he gives you on the actual figure to the look that he gives you in the film is almost identical it's a, it's a great likeness and uh, Necker should be applauded for that. It looks really, really good. Now, if we take a deeper look at the paintwork, uh, especially on his face, you can see that the paintwork is slightly darker pink, I would say, almost giving him that android kind of look. I don't see that as a problem. I, I actually quite like it. Uh, the substance on his face, the milky residue, is what he's coughed up as he's been split in two and uh, it's gone into his hair let me just turn him around so you can see that and it's given it almost like a shine where it's the, it's given a wet look around it and that's really nice detail i like the way they've done that as we move to the torso you can see the puncture wound in his chest from the alien queen's tail hence all the milk residue on his chest and these overalls and um as he's torn in two, it leaves remnants of his entrails hanging out, which is a really nice touch, very, very beautifully detailed. And as we look at his arms, again, they're covered in the residue, which is nice. And his hands, really, I mean, his hands are beautifully detailed. We have his watch on, on his wrist there. If I turn him to his side, you'll see his marine patch there. 
So yeah, great job on the front and um, certainly is a great, great figure. When we turn the figure around, you can see the wet shine look in his hair and the top of his ovals where he's been laying in his own residue. And it's all down his arms, as you can see there, the detail of Danny's arms. As you get down to the down to the bottom, it, it flattens out quite dramatically. So if we turn him on his side, you can see quite quickly how flat it is. So a nice job. I really like that. Figure movement is restricted purely to capture the essence of the scene. So what we have is a head that will turn with some force. It goes up slightly and down. Arms come out. There's bending in the in the um, elbow joint. The wrists rotate. The actual torso will turn slightly, which is a nice surprise, but kudos to Necker for doing that. And here we have both bishop figures from Necker. Now, the queen attack bishop is my favorite. Uh, it, the sculpt is better. It looks more like the actor Lance Henriksen. The one on the left is okay. It's, it's a good likeness, but for me, the one that steals the show is definitely the queen attack bishop. Um, so yeah, it's a matter of opinion, but I actually think Necker did a great job with the Queen Attack Bishop. Necker did the sculpt justice and it characterises the action very well in the movie and for me it's a must have and probably for all you collectors and Aliens fans alike. If you want more videos on games, films and collectibles be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and until next time.